Good Eve, and we're going to be practicing 10 minutes of uh, calm stretches, followed by about 20 minutes of some yin yoga, or so, sorry, some yoga nidra. So you can join me over on the yoga mat, and we're going to start with a pose called Pigeon, which is always a crowd favorite, so we'll get right into it. Slide that out of the way. Alrighty, so coming down into tabletop position, so you're on the hands and knees essentially. Um, we're going to try the right side first, so we're just going to slide the right knee up until it touches the back of the right wrist, turning the right knee to the right side a little bit, and then allowing the shin to move underneath of the pelvis, so the right foot is kind of underneath of the left side hip. We're going to let the left leg relax back behind us. Hey Rajneesh, welcome to class. Good to have you joining us tonight. Glad that you could make it. Um, let's go down into the elbows and then we can uh, rest into this pigeon posture just for about a minute, taking a few deep breaths in and out through the nose. Sometimes I like to press down through the elbows to find additional support for this posture because it really helps uh, distribute the weight of the body so it's not just all down through the hip and the leg. You can close the eyes and allow the music to kind of take you somewhere nice. Let's take two more breaths in this side of pigeon. And you're going to press your palms down so that you can lift your body back up. I like to curl my left toe under so that it makes the transition back to tabletop easier. Walk the knee forwards a few times and then come back to hands and knees. Let's do it on the opposite side. So walking the left knee up to the left wrist, turning that left foot and shin underneath of the pelvis, and then just kind of gently walking that right leg back in space. Come down onto the elbows. Calmly breathing in and out through the nose for about a minute. Remember that you can press those elbows down just a little bit to help support. You can even press the back leg down a little bit as well, and that can help support this posture. Let's take two more breaths in and out of the nose, and then we'll go back to tabletop position. From there, you're going to put the palms down, curl under those right toes, walk the back knee forwards once or twice, and then come back to tabletop position back onto the hands and knees. All right, let's do a twist. Um, I'm going to suggest a forward facing twist if you want to try it with me here. So we're going to bring the left hip to the floor and our back leg, our right leg, sorry, is going to kind of rest somewhere on top of the foot maybe, or even just in from there if you want it. And then we're going to start to lean forwards over top of uh, the yoga mat with our hands. You should feel the spine starting to rotate and twist. We can come down onto the elbows and that can feel really nice um, as a kind of advancement from our pigeon pose as well because it's a very similar shape to what we just did, but now we're getting that additional twist, that rotation of the spine. If this posture isn't really working for you, that's normal and totally fine. You can do a laying down twist that we've done before in class. So just go ahead, lay down on your back, let the knees go over to one side or the other.
Last breath in and out in this twist. And then press your palms down and come back up. And we'll just swap sides. So we can just actually swap sides by windshield wipering the legs to the other side. So check it out, we just take the legs and windshield wiper them to the right side of the yoga mat instead of the left, whatever side you were on. And you should now have the, the right hip down in front of you instead of the left hip down. And then we come down onto the palms or elbows and start to rotate that spine, dipping it underneath the left side and letting the right side roll up. Now, as you go through these twists, let the breath be kind of your guide to move deeper if you need to, or to tell you, hey, it's time to stay right where you are. One last breath in and out in this rotation here. Come back. I want you to uh, just lay down on your back. Have some blocks nearby or a big pillow or supports of some kind. And we're gonna do support and bridge. So you're down on the back, you lift the hips up and you put the hips on top of a block. And then it's gonna stay bent here. And uh, this is a really great posture to help us start to relax towards our yoga nidra position, which is our I'm laying on the back in Shavasana. You can open up the palms to face the ceiling. And remember in Yoga Nidra, we practice something called our Sankalpa. This is our deep inner resolve. If you can try to remember what that was for you when we did the course, or perhaps, um, any other time that you've done Yoga Nidra, or even if there's a kind of a mantra that you're having for your life right now, then maybe bringing that into the Yoga Nidra practice. So start to draw that conscious tie towards our meditation from our asana practice here on the yoga mat. Option to extend your legs out and keep the hips on the block for the next uh, minute here before we lay down fully on the back and move into Shavasana. You can stay just as you are. I'm just going to get up and start moving to keep uh, things efficient, moving towards the computer so I can set up for the, the Nidra. All right, so from your um, backline position there with the blocks, you can just uh, bend the knees again, put the feet down on the floor, press your hips up into the air a little bit, take the block out, and just go ahead and lay down. Fully in Shavasana now, please. So once you've found that, uh, that laying down position, try to get as comfortable as you can. So allowing your body to um, kind of spread out a little bit, arms and legs spread out wider. You can take a blanket and drape it over your body gently, um, maybe your favorite pillow or blanket or something like that. And um, let's move into the practice of Yoga Nidra. So excited to, being, uh, to be teaching this tonight. And uh, I'm so thankful that you're here for the session with me. You're about to practice Yoga Nidra, a deep and relaxing meditation experience that will allow you to let go of distractions and worries and connect with a deeper self. 
please lie down on your back and relax in a comfortable position on the floor with your palms facing up, just as we were. You can place any additional bolsters that you need to become more comfortable. Now please soften and close your eyes and allow your body to slowly relax and settle into this posture. This place of stillness. Try to remain here in this place of stillness throughout the practice. If you notice discomfort anywhere in the body at the time, first observe it. After observing, if it continues to bother you, make any necessary adjustments, then just come back to stillness. Let's take a deep breath in through the nose. And exhale, letting go of all worries and distracting thoughts. Allow your mind to relax completely. And follow the sound of my voice through the practice, remaining aware. Now allow the sound and easy rhythm of your breath to further relax your body. Allow each breath to flow through you like a rolling sea wave. Observe sounds outside and inside the room. Noticing them without finding any of them disturbing. Feel awareness of your body from the crown of your head to the tips of your toes. Mentally repeat your mantra or your intention, your senkalpa. Repeat it three times with deep awareness. Awareness of your mind and your body. We will now move into rotation of consciousness. You will transfer your awareness swiftly to different parts of your body while remaining still. Allow your mind to quickly transition from part to part. Please stay alert, but do not strain to follow my script. This should be a relaxing journey through the different parts of your body. Think of the part of the body or see it in your mind's eye, whichever you find easier. But make sure not to actually move the part of the body being mentioned. Become aware of your right hand. Now draw your awareness to your right hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm, back of the hand, wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, right side of the body, waist, hip, right thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, sole of the right foot, top of the right foot, 
big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Become aware of your left hand, left hand thumb, second finger, third finger, fourth finger, fifth finger, palm, back of the hand, left wrist, forearm, elbow, upper arm, shoulder, armpit, left side of the body, waist, hip, left thigh, knee, lower leg, ankle, heel, sole of the left foot, top of the left foot, big toe, second toe, third toe, fourth toe, fifth toe. Moving on to the back of your body. Become aware of the right shoulder blade, left shoulder blade, right glutes, left glutes, the whole of your spine and back together. Move to the front of your body. Draw your awareness to the top of your head. Then move to your right temple, left temple, right eyebrow, left eyebrow, eyebrow center, right eye, left eye right cheek, left cheek, right nostril, left nostril, upper lip, lower lip, chin, throat, right side of the chest, left side of the chest middle of the chest, navel, abdomen, pelvis, pelvic floor, the whole of the right leg, the whole of the left leg, both legs together, the whole of the right arm, the whole of the left arm, both arms together, the whole back of your body, the whole front of your body, your whole body together, your whole body together. Remaining awake and aware, feel your whole body resting.
Now return your awareness to your breathing, feeling the gentle rise and fall of your chest, your rib cage, and your abdomen. Feel the nourishing energy of the breath flowing through you. Now listen to the soft sound of your breath and how it sounds like a wave. You can hear the washing sound when you inhale and the swishing sound when you release your breath. Hear your wave-like breath and feel it moving through you easily and without effort. Continue to visualize your breath rising from your navel to your throat. Begin counting the breath, descending from 10 to one. Inhale, breath rising, 10. Exhale, breath descending, 10. Inhale, breath rising, 9. Exhale, breath descending, 9. Continue on with your breathing, maintaining awareness. If you lose track of your count, begin again at 10. Now let go of the counting and concentrate on the space in front of your closed eyelids. In this space, begin to notice the screen of the mind. The space extends as high and wide distant as the eye can see. Concentrate on this mind screen and become aware of any colors, patterns, or light you may see. Whatever you see manifested by your mind, continue to become aware of the space. Practice detached awareness of the screen of the mind. See the images as I call them off. Burning candle, burning candle, 
burning a candle. Endless desert, endless desert, endless desert. Torrential rain, torrential rain, torrential rain. Birds flying across the sunset. Birds flying across the sunset. Birds flying across the sunset. Red clouds drifting. Red clouds drifting. Red clouds drifting. Stars at night, stars at night, stars at night. Full moon, full moon, full moon. Wind from the sea, wind from the sea, wind from the sea. Waves breaking on a deserted beach. Waves breaking on a deserted beach. Waves breaking on a deserted beach. A rainbow, a crystal skull, summer rain on your skin. Your childhood bedroom, the color orange. Tree, the shape of two interlaced circles, the sky at night, a waterfall, the color red, your childhood face, a garden, a pyramid, the color yellow, a key. Flames of a warming fire. Green pulsating heart. Planet Earth from above. Footprints in the sand. Shades of pink in the clouds. Wild eagles. A spiral. A spaceship. A mountain peak. Freedom. Floating, freedom, floating, freedom. Imagine you are at your favorite beach, walking along the shore. The sun is rising. Illuminating brilliant shades of pink and orange in the clouds. You can feel the breeze of the sea tickling your skin. You can smell the salt in the air. You feel the squeeze of sand between your toes. You can hear the sound of gentle waves rolling onto the sand. You look out over the endless expanse of blue-green water, and notice a pod of dolphins swimming close to the shore where you are walking. You stop to watch them. You see one arc up out of the water, and then dive down so gracefully, its two-pronged tail the last thing to disappear beneath the surface of the water. Another dolphin jumps up even higher, doing a flip in the air before entering the water nose first, without making a splash. You see two dolphins chasing each other. They zoom through the water so fast they produce wakes on the nearly flat water. 
You smile as you observe the dolphins playing. Flash back to when you were a child. Back in the youthful days, you would skip or run or dance to a favorite song, turn a cartwheel in the grass. But you don't do those things anymore because there's too many other serious things to do and you are expected to act like an adult. But you glance around and notice the beach is deserted. A laugh escapes your lips. You find yourself skipping through the sand and the shallows along the shore of the beach, watching the seawater splash all around you. You allow this playful feeling to wash over you like another rolling wave. You break into a run, watching for a flat spot in the sand. Then you rotate downwards, placing your hands onto the sand, feeling your legs fly over your head as you execute a cartwheel. The years seem to drop away. You feel happy and full of joy, like an innocent child. You feel so free. You raise your arms in the air and twirl around, inhaling a breath of life that has never felt so renewing. Now all these images slowly fade away. Come back to your Senkalpa, your mantra, your deep inner resolve, and repeat it to yourself three times with full awareness, sincerity, and faith. Notice your body resting on the floor. Notice the parts of your body that are touching the floor. Your head and upper back touching the floor. Your elbows, hands touching the floor. Your buttocks, calves, and heels. Begin to notice sounds outside and inside of this room. Visualize the floor, the windows and walls and the ceiling of the room where you are lying. Slowly start to do some movements the fingertips, fingertip by fingertip. Start to bring some movement into your feet, moving the toes and the ankles. Start to do some larger movements, some stretches, slowly opening the eyes, reaching the arms above the head, reaching the toes. And then roll over to your right or left side. Take a few deep breaths there before making your way up into a seated position. The practice of Yoga Nidra is now complete. Namaste.